I try. I try. So now we'll share the screen again. So let's talk about the lab. Every now and then we have we have those. So the lab this week is if you were in the in-person class, and you can do it this way if you would like. Um, for those of you that are out on the OSU campus or if you're near an elevator, um, take a bathroom scale with you or use your Firefox app and get on the elevator. Because what we are doing is we're looking and measuring forces on an elevator. You do have- Can you a Yeah. Are you sure that it's this one? Because I looked at the next, like, well, I looked at the calendar and it showed one with the IO lab measuring the mass of that. That's the one that's due this week. We talked about it last week. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. This is the one that's going to be due next week. That makes sense? Yeah. So <laughs> can I ask a question about the last lab then sure. again? So it said to push it five times. What, huh? is, what do you mean by that? Like, could you show me what you mean by that? Well, if you're pushing, if you're doing force versus acceleration and you're sliding it across, you're pushing it on that force five times to see the reaction five times. With the wheels down or up? Did With the change? wheels up because you're going to be measuring the friction. Okay, you're going to be calculating the acceleration due to friction. We're actually going to work a problem like that tonight so that you can actually see that. So would it be five consecutive pushes or do you push... Stop. I, you're not gonna you're not gonna do five consecutive pushes. You're gonna do a it's five repetitions. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's five repetitions. Yeah, and that one is due. Yeah, that one is actually due at the end of this week. the The elevator lab is due on the tenth. Make sense? Yes. Thank you. All right, the other thing is if you want to, you can become the elevator and use your IO lab as the elevator. You are gonna raise up and down and your IO lab is like being in the elevator. So I'm not too concerned which way you want to do your elevator lab. You can do it with the IR and you simulate uh, the IO lab and you simulate being the elevator or you can actually go be in the elevator, whichever way you want. I have provided you five data sets here on the lab. The, I was actually in Atlanta and I was in a, a hotel that had more than 70 floors. So, and I happened to be on the 57th floor. So I took my IO or my uh, Firefox application and I actually recorded the elevator on the Firefox application for the 57 floors. I have it recorded as going up. I have it recorded going down. I have it where there's stops in the middle. So you can actually see a lot more information on the elevator. And I'd like for you guys, as part of your laboratory discussion, take one of those data sets and look at it and analyze it a little bit because there's nowhere between Stillwater, Enid, Ponca City, and Tonkawa that we have elevators that go over maybe 10 stories. It just doesn't happen. You got You gotta go someplace else. So I got a question in the chat here. Uh, what day, what that, what the information you get into the lab, uh, basically what you're gonna need with your Firefox, if you have your Firefox application, you're just gonna re start recording and doing it in your Firefox application because it will actually give you, in your Firefox, it'll give you acceleration, it'll give you elevation, it'll give you um, what you need. If you're doing it in an elevator, like we would do it on campus, you need a bathroom scale because you're actually gonna measure the differences in weight is what you would do. And if you go into this particular video, I think it's up here. Let's open it up, life is slow here. You go into that video. No, no, it's in the other one. It's in this one. This one goes into all of the calculations associated with the elevator. But basically, if you think about forces, 
If I'm standing on the floor of the elevator and the elevator starts to move upward and I and I have a and I have a scale that's between me and the elevator, the weight on the scale is going to read higher. And if I start to move down, the elevator's falling out from underneath me and the weight that you would read on the scale is going to be lighter. And it's because you're measuring that difference in the forces on the scale. So that, but with your Firefox app, you can, all you have to do is just make sure you're on the elevator part of your Firefox app. You'll scroll down and it'll actually say elevator and there'll be a flashing arrow that's there so that you'll be able to do that. And you said that we had to find an elevator that was about 10 floors? No, no, uh-uh. Or you oh. can do it in an elevator that's got four floors. I'm just saying that if between Stillwater and Ponca and everywhere, the elevator is, there's very, very, and, and if you can't find an elevator, do the IO one and you're the elevator. You do it backwards if you're the elevator because you're going to mimic being the car in the elevator. So there's a couple of ways to do this one. It's just whatever you have access to, because if you can use the IO lab to do it, or you can actually get in a, an elevator, it's preferable to be in an elevator that has more than three floors or three, uh, has at least three floors, but you can even do it between one floor and feel it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Other questions about the lab? Also on the lab, I did my video of it this morning when I did it for my in-class students this morning. They actually rode the elevator over in uh, Wilkin, over in uh, Tonkawa. We usually do it in Zollers if we're in Enid, and you can do it in the elevators on the Stillwater campus, uh, NOC campus as well. But again, I'm not, I just want you to go in and feel those forces and feel those playing with those forces if you can. And if not, you get to be the elevator with your IO lab. Questions about the lab? All right, I'm gonna stop sharing here. I'm gonna stop recording. And I apologize that I did not record announcements. So I, I'm sorry about that.